The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to start out the show today. Uh, by the way, our guest today is my very good friend from Air Software, Alfie Lavoy, who has the best software for cycles that uh, you can ever imagine. But anyway, he'll be on to tell us about what he's got and a few other stories. But I posted the chart of the NASDAQ today, folks, because I wanted you to see this. This was the early morning uh, from last night. You know, we had the break. We had the rally back. And you can see we had a beautiful 382. And actually, the NASDAQ went down and took out those lows by just a little bit. But boy, when it reversed that level, that's when it took off like a striped deer running through the woods. Let me tell you, it was on its way. And we had a move from 350 down in the 350 point move in the Dow Jones to the downside and then 400 points to the upside. And boys and girls, we call that volatility. By the way, I will be doing a live uh, five day session, five day, five hour session from nine to two on May the 17th. And uh, this is there. We're going to be there to make money. I'm going to be doing some teaching, but I'm going to be do, do more of trading than I am teaching. I'm probably going to do more trades in one day than I usually do, but I'm going to do them on a short term timing basis. So you can see that these patterns work on any time frame. And that's what you know we're trying to see as we as we look at that. Now I'm going to take a trip down memory lane, folks, today because this is an anniversary date for me. Uh, one of my very very dear friends, Bob Gilmillion, who uh, owned Wilshire Coins in uh, uh, Santa Monica, California, uh, passed away. Uh, I think it was six years ago today, and uh, I have been. Um, you know, I think about him all the time. It was really fun when I have when I first came to California. This is a, this is the reason why I'm bringing this chart for soybean oil up because this is how I got started doing so much of this stuff. I met Bob in 1972. He had bought the coin. He had bought the shop from uh, Doug Epstein. It was right on the corner of Wilshire Boulevard and uh, Santa Monica Boulevard in Los An in uh, Santa Monica. It was you could see the ocean. It was a block away. Beautiful little building there, and he had the, the ground floor there. He had a little place called Wilshire Coin, and I used to go in there from 1968 when I first moved to California, and uh, I was in Westlake Village, and uh, I would buy coins and from uh, Doug Epstein, mainly uh, gold coins, American gold coins, you know, five dollars, two and a half, tens. Anyway, um, I got to be friends with Bob. He was a he was absolute dead ringer for Pete Rose. I mean, he really was. I mean, people used to ask him all the time if it was him, and, of course, he got a lot of fun out of that. Well, one day, this was in 1975, about uh, February of 75, I'm in there uh, talking to Bob, and uh, in walks a couple of fellows, and uh, they wanted to buy some gold, and uh, Bob said, yeah, we can do that. And uh, I didn't recognize uh, who they were, and neither did Bob. And then uh, they introduced themselves as Roy Huggins and Stephen Cannell. And I said, hmm, I said, I know who you guys are. Those are the guys that did the Rockford, Rockford Files, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway, we became friends with them, and they were part of that soybean oil trade that I did in 1975 uh, you know, through 76. And I became friends with them. And uh, it was, uh, they're, they're nice fellows. They really were. I didn't get to see much of them, but I got to talk to their attorneys on the phone because they did everything through a business agent. And then they had a falling out. I don't know what it was about, but they didn't speak to each other up until the time when Roy Huggins passed away. And uh, but uh, I don't know what happened. But anyway, they had a falling out. But uh, it was really fun to you know be able to every time I see and they did Hunter. God, they did so many of these things that it was just amazing. And they had a writer for them, a fellow you probably never heard of, Dick Wolf. 
did a thing called Law and Order. He was one of the writers for them uh, years and years ago. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the markets. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this chart up here, you can see the price here. We hit last night, we had soybean oil up $3, which is a lot. That's $1,800. Uh, the limit's off on the July, of course. And uh, it's been bouncing around uh, for a buck and a half today. But you can see all the ABCD patterns in there. The reason why you put this thing up here is that if you'll look at this little uh, little square that I marked off right there, that was the ABCD target, folks, at 80, uh, eight, right around 84.15. But you can see the market went quite a bit higher. It went all the way up to uh, 85.50. So that's a, that's a difference of $600. Now, if you just sell at point D, Sure, you can put a stop in wherever you want, but the easier thing to do is wait for that target to be hit, then let it sell off a little bit, and then sell the rally back. And that's pretty much what we happened today. We had a pretty good break, about a dollar and a half, around $900, and it rallied back right to the 61% retracement, and then it had its break. So that's the way to handle it when you have an ABCD up there. Now, sometimes I will just just sell a D and just forget it. And, and a lot of times I will. As long as I don't have a real wide gap, which today is a wide gap, that would have prevented me from doing that. Or if there's a gap going into point D, you just can't do that. Um, the history says that the statistics are such that you just don't want to stand in front of that freight train. I mean, it's just not worth it. That's on, the, that's on a five-minute chart. A daily chart, whatever you want to, whatever you want to look at. We had another one like this. We had a beautiful pattern at um, in in natural gas today at uh, 721. It backed off a thousand dollars very very quickly, and before you could shake a stick at the computer, it was trading a thousand dollars higher on its way to two thousand dollars higher. So when you get markets that are this wild, you've got to be able to be right on the money. And you've got to be able to put your stops in and move on to the next one. That's the main thing. Now, something we talked about yesterday, very significant happened, and that is that at that 4304, uh, 143.04 yesterday in the bonds, we hit exactly a 382 retracement on the daily. Okay? We had the same thing happen in the notes. That's why they're selling off today. They've already sold off a little more than. Uh, let me see, around, around thir well, 1200 dollars, and it looks like you know they could be going lower. But you know we have to wait, let, wait, let the market tell us uh, you know what's going on. But I wanted I wanted to share that uh, the story. Uh, there were so many great stories there. My, the reason how I, I became friends with Bob is uh, when I first started going there in '72, I had to go. Not had to, but I used to deliver cougar ends because I was able to drive, you know, to, to Cedar Sinai Medical Center, USC Medical Center, City of Hope. So I was all over Los Angeles. So if I had, if he had some cougar ends to deliver, and they were close to where I was going to be, I would deliver them. And one of those trips, I went to a fellow whose name was Parker. And it was uh, Wes Parker's father, and I delivered the cougar ants to him. And when I went into his office, I saw the, the pictures of his son. And uh, by golly, he said, hey, come on over and you'll visit my, visit my son today. He'll be here. We'll have lunch. I went over and had lunch with him, and we became friends. I got to go to Dodger Stadium and into the clubhouse. And then as luck would have it, about two years later, a dude from Terrell, Indiana named Tommy John was drafted by the Dodgers from the White Sox. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to talk just a little bit about the euro. Uh, as you can see here, this is a daily chart going back several months. Uh, you'll notice that uh, we've had a really nice ABCD coming down in here, right around this 104 and change. Uh, that's a really big number, folks. Uh, if you remember, we've been talking about in the newsletter, one of the things that we've been saying is that we were going to see at least 103 in the U.S. dollar index, and I believe we hit it today. If not, we are very, very close. And uh, the reason why we were bullish this, i.e. bearish the euro, was the fact, and I'll get this up here so that you can take a quick look at it here. We'll look at the weekly dollar index, and you'll be able to see it here. One second, with a little help from our technical advisors here at uh, Duke & Duke where it says share the screen okay i hit that and i hit this you'll notice this is the weekly and you notice how we've been uh as of last week we were already trading above the 61 percent retracement and that means that that extension was going to go higher and most likely go up to the old highs that we had way back here near 104 and we're very close to that right now now should we break above that 104 level uh, oh boy that's going to be real interesting because that means a dollar is strengthening and that would surprise a whole lot of people because no one thinks the dollar should be strengthening during this time but frankly folks it really doesn't make any difference it's it's a matter of who's got the cleanest dirty shirt and that's the one that you want to pay attention to. Now, we've had another one here that we've been following and been short for a while. Uh, actually, we had the 382 back here in March. And uh, we said to hang in there because we were going to get down to the 125 level. Just give me one second and I'll get the old British pound up there. We were talking about this when we were uh, in London. We're doing the seminar with Tom and uh, David Paul. Steve Ward and Al Brooks, and you'll notice here that, you know, we've just been drifting lower, you know, all along in here, 
And now we're down to this level here, folks. We're right near that 125 level, I believe. I haven't checked it yet today because of the beepers that I rely on have not uh, hit it. But that that's a really, really good one. We had a beautiful three-drive pattern here. We had a really nice rally here. You can see we went right up to two numbers, lining them up perfectly right there. You can see the red lines drawn in. And then you start the downtrend. And the key here was right there on that weekly chart. You ha you go down and you make a 61% retracement. You rally up to exactly 382, and the market says goodbye, and down she goes. And uh, that's the ones that we're paying, you know, really close attention to uh, here today. Um, some people have asked me, not related to currencies, but to why could the stock market, you know, be so strong today with the bad news that it had and Google and Microsoft and all the others uh, and Tesla and stuff. Well, well, folks, it doesn't make any difference because when the market gets oversold, that means people come in looking for value, and that's why you got to be a technician. You can't rely on what these what these earnings reports are. Okay, now we're going to have a little test. Everybody that thinks that um, Elon Musk bought Tesla to. Uh, be get free speech back into the constitution and stuff raise their hand now i'm going to cross my arms because i don't think that's why he did it folks let me explain to you what i think he did and i get this from a little bird who's very very smart if you look at apple with the price of just under two trillion dollars okay he pays 50, roughly $54 a share, uh, $45 billion, I think it was. He's going to pay $45 billion. He's buying Twitter for $45 billion. They have a lot of users, folks, a lot. So he's buying that for $44 billion. And look at the price of Apple. At, you imagine it went a little under $1.2, $1.7 trillion or something, whatever it is. Look at the value that he has here. He's got the access to all of these people on, on, this, on this platform now. After he gets the platform working in about six or seven months, don't be surprised if you come out and see some things that are really interesting, like what's happening with Amazon, what's happening with uh, Facebook, and what's happening with PayPal and other things like that. It will be a really good format to do that because he's going to get everybody, uh, you know, interested in it. He'll still have the free speech stuff working, and I don't think that'll change much at all. But that's what is going to happen. He, he he bought value there, folks. The one thing you don't want to do is to fade Elon Musk. Anybody that's done that since that guy was born has paid the price. So I certainly am not going to pay for it but you know stop and think that maybe he bought that not because of the free speech but because of the fact that he has access to all of their information and stuff and that's what he loves the most which is data so that's what i'm uh, referring to this as we go through here uh, today our guest today is alfie lavoy as i mentioned tomorrow uh, our guest is none other than Tim Bost, I believe. Oh, dear, I turned the page already. Yep, 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 yep. That's not right either. Just give me a second. Yeah, I think it's Tim Bost. <laughs> yep, let's try it again. It's Shane Smolian is the ball, is the man in the driver's seat for tomorrow. And then, of course, we got May coming up. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door. No wonder I turned this darn thing. Oh, my gosh. Do you realize that we have on... Oh, dear, it's not this Saturday. It's next Saturday. The 7th is the first Saturday in May, which is the Kentucky Derby. And I will have the winning horse for you like I do every year for the past 17 years here at uh, TFNN. I think I had one place winner in the 17 years that uh, I've been doing this uh, for uh, – making my prediction for the Kentucky Derby. So what you want to do is whatever horse I pick, scratch that one and pick uh, one of the other 15 or 20 that will be running, and then you'll have a, a little bit better chance uh, of uh, doing it. So anyway, I have a lot of fun doing it. And, and occasionally, more than occasionally, I will be able to get it. Now, Rich Anderson asked me to share this about technical analysis. One of his customers was kind enough to uh, send this to us, so I, I want to uh, – show you what you're looking at here and then uh, this is a scam call shut the front oh wait that's alfie he dialed the wrong number <laughs> hold on just a minute boys and girls yeah hello hey, Larry. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, they're you, they're going to call. Uh, have him call in on eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. On his telephone. On his regular on his telephone. Just forget the Skype. Yeah, we'll do it all by telephone, Carol. All right, all right. We'll see you later. Yeah, you bet. Bye bye. Okay, that's Mr. Lavoy's uh, lovely bride, Carol, and she will, uh, as informed us, he will call in. Anyway, I wanted to bring this up to show you this chart here. Oh, shucks, hold on just a minute. I hope it pops up here. It's a little cartoon on uh, technical analysis, and it reads here. It says, you should buy a stock whenever the chart looks like a squirrel betting on a clown, setting on a clown's shoulder. And that's what we call technical analysis. That's actually head and shoulders pattern, folks. <laughs> Holy moly guacamole. We'll be right back with Alfie Lavoy of Air Software. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have Alfie Lavoie of Air Software on the line. Alfie, are you there? Yes, I sure am. 
Hey, listen, I hope your memory is good because I want to tell the folks a little story. I posted into the room today uh, my natal chart from uh, 1941, and we were at the American Astrology Conference in August of 1988, and I had just written my book, uh, Astro Cycles, The Trader's Viewpoint. And uh, they, all the people there, there were seven or 800 people. They had this chart up there. They took my name off of it. I didn't know it was me because I still don't understand these things. But uh, uh, Archie, uh, Archie Crawford was there, and I had just met uh, Alfie for the very first time. And he was in the process of building his uh, software program at that point. And they showed this chart up here because uh, people said it had uh, just a lot of positive things going on. And what I wanted to do, I don't know what it means, Alfie, and I don't want you to tell me about that because this is this is known as a horary chart isn't that correct well a natal, uh, a natal chart uh, no uh, uh, a natal chart is the one that you know uh, you calculate exactly on the bird time a horary chart okay. is that somebody calls you and he says uh, for instance should i invest in this stock somebody told me that this stock is going to go up I take the time that they ask the question. I draw a chart, find out what the planets are in the sky in relationship with the Earth, mm -hmm. and I give him an answer. Yeah. I give him an answer. Yes, you should not. You should invest in this stock or, or not, because in horary, uh, you know, supposedly when somebody is is uh, up into getting an answer, I don't care what answers you want. I get a lot of of uh, uh, well, I, I I found a lot of missing people. You know, I, if people call yeah. me with the 911, and, and I use that time, and I found that, uh, a lot of missing kids and, wow. and uh, uh, things like that. And I find, as a matter of fact, yesterday, I just found uh, uh, $870,000 for this uh, a person, a business client of mine. He went to the wow. bank. He had to pay a business list with cash. And he came home. He couldn't find the money. I told him exactly the money is. He calls me back in 10 minutes. He said, guess what? I found the money. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you still do? You, still do you, you were as a consultant for PepsiCo, for Pepsi and Taco Bell, aren't you? And where they should put their, or Taco Bell, where they put their stores and stuff. You still do that, don't you? Yeah, I still have. I, wow. I have a lot of business clients that have, uh, you know, offices all over the world. Wow. Yeah. Alfie, you got a sale going on, and I think it's the best. Well, I don't have to think. I know it's the best software for astrology and for finding cycles and stuff. And uh, how long have you been doing this for over, th building this for almost 30 years, isn't it, Archie? Because you were building when I first met you in 88. So, yeah. Uh, well, we have all kinds of software. And by the way, we just came up with two uh, financial uh, software that really works well. As a matter of fact, two minutes later before you call, uh, I had an email. This guy was, you know, we have thousands of them up there. But this guy wasn't a trader, but he was, a, you know, he was interested. And he finally bought the software. It's $499. And he mm -hmm. says, Alfie, uh, it comes with 37 videos. For a whole week, I watched the videos. I made a trade uh, uh, on Thursday. I sold it yesterday. I made 600 and some odd dollars. So I'm in $200 ahead of paying for the <laughs> software. Thank you. <laughs> it has that many videos with it, Arch uh, Alfie? Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's an incredible teaching thing, yeah. And it, it explains step by step. So if you don't know, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't know astrology. They don't, really mm -hmm. don't have to know because mm -hmm. it's all built in the software. We have the models for, you know, and what it does is that it works on uh, five different kind of uh, astrology models that okay. we uh, research since the, the right. 80s. And, okay. you know, so you find out that three of them says this stock is going to be down here on this day, and all of them shows in a week is going to be way up. Then you buy okay. it there and sell it later. Okay. Now, I've posted a chart that you sent me. Uh, I believe it's a, a natal chart of uh, of a stock, and you, the question was, would you buy this stock? And it, is this what you're looking at when you're when you're getting ready to buy a stock? Well, no, this is what somebody called me and said to me, should I buy this stock, all right? Okay. So, so when you look at it, the, 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 the thing on, on 9 o'clock 
that's the person calling. It describes him. And okay. then each house is, uh, rules something. And stocks are ruled by the fifth house. So if you look at the fifth house, we have Capricorn there and Virgo rising. So we look at Mercury and Saturn. It doesn't make any aspect. All right. So that tells us no. All right. But okay. then we have Pluto in the fifth house right there, the planet Pluto. And, and the, the planet Mercury rules the man that asked the question. It trines. All right. So it says, okay, it's not 100% proof, but it's about like 70% proof you should buy this stock. Okay, that makes sense. Seventy percent is pretty good. I, yeah. Not many people can hit seventy percent on these. Uh, tell the folks some more about the the sale that you've got going, Alfie. Well, the sale we got going is is on books. All right. Okay. And uh, I, I wrote five books on on this techniques, how to do it, and stuff like that. So this is okay. the sale. You know. Okay. That's the the books, and one of them. And I was looking at your chart. One of them is uh, the four path to God. And I got all of this into a dream. I've been looking for these techniques to help people, uh, you know, understanding themselves. And when I put your chart on, on the screen here, uh, in the four path to God, you're an eight. All right? Uh -huh. Which means you've got a lot of 45 degrees uh, aspect in your chart. And so to be an eight, in order to balance on earth, eight means that, you know, this is you as a person when you stand on there. But in order to get this out into the, the, the world, you got to be a one. And that means, you could, uh, you know, I found I'm an eight too. I found that people that are an eight is always hiding behind something. Like to you, you're hiding behind the stock market. And then your personal life sometimes doesn't go anywhere because you're not enough. Here I am, folks, you know? So you have mm -hmm. to be more of a person that pushes yourself and not push yourself behind. Well, you know, I have a, a, a radio show. I wrote books and stuff like that. You gotta go above that and, and put that behind you. And once you got that, then you gotta balance and things starts to work for you. Oh, that may, makes good sense. Well, we'll see what happens. Listen, I want to thank you for joining. Tell the folks how they can reach you, Alfie. If you'd, they'd like to purchase some of your software or your books, where is the best way to oh, reach my, you? My, yeah, uh, my software, if uh, anybody's interested in the new stock software, this is, you know, 1980, I've done research. Uh, they can reach me at uh, www, you know, Alfie, A-L-P-H-E-E.com, A-L-P-H-E-E.com. Okay. And I have everything there. I have my email and everything. Uh, okay. And of course, my email is alfie at comcast dot com. Okay. So listen. You know, uh, thank you for joining us today, buddy. We'll have you on again. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Give my yeah. best to Bye, Carol. Have a nice day. You yeah. bet. Okay. Alfie Lavoy, folks. Alf Air Software. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, 
is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the uh, forecast uh, last night uh, during Europe and the E-mini S&P, and then also uh, what we're looking at for today. You can see it's been all over the map, but if you'll notice the, uh, the green line, those of you that are in the car, this is a way of determining where the market may or may not be at any specific time. It's usually right within about 20 minutes. Uh, today, it was off by uh, a little bit more, but... Uh, we had very interesting hit. You can see that big rally that happened in the middle of the night. Then we went down and made a new low just by a little bit. And can, then, of course, we, we turned around. The key uh, to, to watch this, though, from the U.S. standpoint, comes in here in about 15 or 20 minutes. Because at that point, if that's the case, uh, we might start down in 15 or 20 minutes. But believe me, folks, if 20 minutes after that top is in and you're still going higher, you better stand aside because this thing could really go. So just uh, just remember, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. As you can see here uh, on this chart, where we're setting at right now is the 78% level. Now, what I would like to see is I would like to see it stay right in this area here until this time because if I sell it here, then I know my risk is only going to be about uh, fifteen point seven hundred and fifty dollars max. And when you're when you're swinging three and four thousand dollars a day up and down, folks, you know seven hundred fifty is not a lot. But that's uh, that's neither here nor there uh, of looking at this. So that's the main thing to uh, keep in mind when we're watching some of these. I'll be I'll be teaching you folks how to do this yourself. Uh, on the 17th of May is a easy, quick, and dirty way to do this that I'll be talking to you about. I won't be using this in the trading. I'll probably be showing it. But fr frankly, folks, when I do trading, I'm going to be there to try to make money because I've got a. I have a quota that I, my here theoretical quota is what I look at for the day, and I'm going to be um, doing the patterns and teaching the why I'm doing that pattern and doing that. I have a couple of. I have three uh, PowerPoint presentations that we quickly go through. And there's a whole bunch of material that you'll get along with that. But uh, it'll be actual live trading, exactly what I did when we were with Tom Hugard over in uh, London. It's not going to be any different than that. that. That's what I do. And so uh, uh, I think it's $299. And we've had three of these. This will be the fourth one. We've made money on all of them. Uh, two, were, two were good. And uh, one was spectacular. So that the very first one we did was we, we didn't have any losers. We made a lot of money. The other two, 
uh, had a lot of questions answered, no excuses, but we still made more, way more than enough to, uh, to cover the thing. But I'm going to be spending more time on the trading part this time because that's what people really want to do. So I'll be doing more trades. I'll be looking at different markets to find, you know, ABCD patterns, Gartley's, 135s, whatever I can find, you know, to try to make a dollar on looking at uh, five, four, 10, 15 minute charts, whatever it takes to find a good pattern, that's what I'm going to be doing. That'll be on uh, May 17th. You'll be getting some information in it uh, in the mail, but uh, that's neither what we're watching here so far. Now, I wanted to, um, uh, regarding the uh, the charts that uh, uh, Alfie put up, folks, those, you know, uh, we've had some pretty smart people on this show, uh, Shane Smolian, uh, Tim Bost, uh, and a few other people, Norm Winsky, of course, and several other astrologers that have come on that are very, very smart, very, very successful. They all do it in their own way. And that's that's pretty much what we do here uh, when we're when we're doing our trading. I, I really like to focus on 15 and 30 minute charts because they give me the they give me the uh, the confidence of where I have to put my stop because the, the charts they're very predictive in nature, but God, they're not 100%. And that's the main thing. The perfect example was that soybean oil chart that I posted earlier. It looked perfect, but by golly, you know, if you if you sold it a D, you're sitting with a $900 loss. Of course, yeah, it came back in your favor, but you know, some of these they don't come back. They just keep running and running and running, and you can't you can't stand in front of those. I mean, that's just look at the swings that we're having in crude oil, folks. You know, we were trading at 95 and change on Monday. Okay, on Tuesday we had a nine from from the low on Tuesday to where we were yesterday. We rallied 700 points, 700 seven dollars a barrel, folks. That's seven grand. Then we back off to the uh, last night. We back off and makes an A B C D uh, at the 382 this morning at 99 and change. I mean, <laughs> these are wild swings. This is what we like when you're trading pattern recognition because you're going to see, you know, volatility and these numbers work pretty good. Let's just get up here because um, uh, I wanted to bring this to your attention. There, just so you can just see it right now. We'll just go through this because I, I think it's worth. Uh, oh, just a second. I'm going to post the crude oil right now. Sorry about that, Al. There's the crude oil. There's the bottom yesterday. You see the uh, the, the measurement came right in here at uh, 95.90 the low was 95.32 uh, and from 95.32 we rallied up to almost uh, 103 that's uh, just it was a little more than seven handles and then that's when we had the 135 pattern uh, then what we do from 103 we dropped four dollars to down to 99 and now we're back into the range now at around 102 101.50 to 102 was what I heard just a little while ago. So these are just huge swings. And we're having huge swings in the S&P and in the NASDAQ and everything else, you know. But the, the whole world, I mean, when you turn on Bloomberg or anything else, all you're going to see about how bearish the NASDAQ is. For God's sake, be careful when you start hearing that stuff because this thing is way oversold. And believe me, if it starts to rally, and if it starts to rally for any reason, you know, we're looking at, you know, bad earnings in Google and, and Tesla, all the other stuff, just pay attention to those charts because we've seen this before. If you remember COVID, how bad it was, and then all of a sudden, bada bing, bada boom, uh, you know, the market turned on a dime and left a whole lot of people standing there waving at the train as it went by. So. That's the key, is to watch how the markets react to the news, either good news or bad news. That's the main thing that you want to be uh, paying very, very close attention to. Let me see where we are now on the old uh, 786 train. The 786 in that S&P is at 42.11. Uh, uh, this will be about 10 minutes after the show is when the top should be in. But pay close attention to that uh, if you possibly can. And that would be uh, maybe something that you might want to uh, pay uh, pay some attention to as you look at these charts here here today. We got gold still moving lower down at 1883. We tried to get short up there at uh, 1917. We missed it by four bucks. 
and uh, the train went by us and we waved as it went by but it'll be stopping again soon and we'll be able to get on it. we're waiting to buy it folks my dream here in uh, i hate to use the word hope but my dream is that we get this uh, gold a hundred dollars lower from where it is right now right around 17 1780 1776 Ah, that's when I will walk up to the old gold broker and say, El conos dos manos. That means with both hands give me the gold, and I will be buying gold at that price because that will be a giant ABCD on the daily. And uh, those are the kind we really like to see. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, we're back, folks. Tomorrow's guest will be Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Also has done some great things. He's got a new product coming out, folks. Uh, I believe I better not say anything about it. I'll let him tell you about it. But uh, if it's right, it's going to be rubbing off one of the things on my bucket list, folks. And that means it proves astrology really does work in real markets. So he'll be talking about that tomorrow, and I'm really interested to hear what he has to say. I've seen some of the preliminary results, and they truly are uh, spectacular. Okay, uh, someone asked a question uh, about uh, the grain markets uh, regarding that soybean oil. Yes, the soybean oil has been incredibly strong. Wheat, beans, corn, not so much. But uh, there's a possibility that we're going to have some correction in here, and that will tell us that, by golly, we've got a chance here for maybe a little relief in the uh, 
inflationary index that we've been banging on the door here for so long, but we'll wait and see what happens uh, with that. So tomorrow will be uh, Shane Smolian. If you have any questions, there's still a couple minutes to go here, 877-927-6648. On Friday, uh, I'm going to do a little nostalgia show here. Uh, I had uh, the, the anniversary of Bob's death uh, brought a lot of memories back to me, folks. I I would like to share all of them with you, but I can't. But I want to share some of the more interesting ones that have happened to me through the years. And uh, I think that uh, that'll be fun. And because uh, I'm going to relate them to the trading, too, because that's the thing. As a matter of fact, one of the things I was doing this about yesterday uh, when I knew the anniversary of his passing was there is that in 1976, uh, we were in Las Vegas and uh, these guys were big gamblers and I wasn't. But I was big shot this time. I took a, a thousand bucks. This was 1976 in January when I was buying I was buying these options, uh, these put, uh, excuse me, these bull spreads. I was long D short July oil, long July short D oil. And uh, those spreads only cost about 160 bucks. Well, I lost that thousand bucks. That cost me six spreads. Those six spreads would have made me 22 grand. So not only did I lose that, I lost the opportunity of winning 22 grand. So from then on, I keep it close to the vest and don't mess with it too much. So that's uh, basically some of the other stories that I'll be sharing with you, uh, things that have happened over the years. Some of them are funny, some of them are sad, but we'll cover them. We'll see you tomorrow with Shane Smolian, the Wolf trader.com live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless